When a cancer is not responding to anything available, you can't just keep on trying. Those treatments are very toxic. You have one patient and one option. Whereas in our avatars, we have many, many, many alternative realities that we can test for this one given tumor. Breast cancer is very diverse. We know there are at least 11 different subtypes. Some of these subtypes do much better than others. So we are focusing on this subtype of breast cancer that is very aggressive. History tells us that it is possible to personalize cancer treatment and if we do it, we can cure people. We have shown that when you put the tumor in a mouse, in the avatar, that tumor retains all the molecular features and all the features that that tumor has in the human. So we really have that same tumor in a different reality. We get from surgery breast cancer specimens that come straight to the lab and immediately after we put them in our avatar mice. And we basically allow those tumors to grow so we can then develop several copies of that patient. What we're trying to do is find the right drug for this patient that is not responding to the drug that she's receiving in the clinic. This patient's tumor is left in this avatars without any treatment and you can see how big the tumor is growing. And here we've got the same patient's tumor. We are treating this avatar with a drug that we hope might be working. So you can see that the tumor is smaller. Right now we are not impacting on patient's treatment at all. So we are setting the grounds of a future personalized breast cancer program. We're just proving the concept that the avatars might be able to inform on the right treatment for that given patient. So if the patient is responding, the avatar is responding too. It's going way better than I would have ever dreamt of. I am now very excited and I think we need to be brave and we need to step forward and start to maybe think of creating clinical trials where we will start using the information on the avatars to inform on clinical decision making. It's a privilege to be doing this and I'm only doing it because I truly believe that this might make a difference in, in patients.